hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Spagazi William um I feel like it's been a while since I said that intro and I said it like properly and I was like stable and all these things but um yeah welcome to my channel welcome back I'm right back I mean I have been posting and I have been recording and everything but like I just feel different like I don't know anyway um so this is gonna be a maintenance vlog and I actually have an appointment in like an hour i believe it is eight o'clock right now it was like three minutes to eight a couple minutes ago so i'm sure it's eight o'clock right now but yeah this is gonna be a maintenance vlog because the next vlog is gonna be a fun one i'm going to be going on a little, little adventure but it's gonna be like a day adventure but i think it'll be really fun i think the vlog will still be like quite um eventful and long and all these things um, <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a checklist of things that we have to do in this vlog so that we're all going through it together and we all know what's going on. I have a whole bunch of things that I need to do, but obviously I need to do my hair. I took my braids out and I just combed the hair out. Um, it looks like it's shed quite a bit. It looks short. It looks a lot shorter than what my hair did before, but I don't know. With me, I don't know. I prefer cornrows to grow my hair rather than braids, but like, it's fine. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is my hair. So I first, uh, I can't speak. I first have a hair appointment. And then after that, I have an appointment at Sorbet to do my Hollywood wax, my underarm wax. Um, they didn't have, the brow threading lady wasn't there, so I'm not going to do that. And then I also am going to do a power pedicure with gel nail polish on my toenails toenails yeah and then tomorrow i need to go and have i have a nail appointment to get these babies done i'm so excited that i can finally hopefully have someone who does nails and they look really good because like i've seen this person on instagram i'm gonna like obviously tell you guys about them or whatever but like i've seen them on instagram and they do really great nails and i saw them through someone i know and she always gets people that do really great nails so i'm really excited to have someone else do my nails for the first time in like two three years because i've been doing my, my own nails um and then the one time i did get them done at Torbay, they look trash so yeah um and then in between i also do need to do a bit, bit of shopping and things like that also i need to sort out like clipping extensions and all that because i think i'm going to just do my own hair for a little while let it breathe i wanted to do cornrows but like i'm not finding a place that can do like the hard cornrow so if you guys know any please just like comment them down below so that i can go get it because i wanted to do like a heart you know and then the cornrows and stuff like that the ones that i have seen are a little too thick and i don't like that Anyway, first thing that we're going to do right now is make breakfast and this is the breakfast that I've just been eating and I'm sure I posted it in the vlog like the last vlog or the vlog before. So I'm just going to do that. Um, nothing crazy because I need to get going soon. <laughs> In my breakfast, I'd like to take a moment to talk about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform that has a diverse range of classes from the topics of photography, film and video, fine art to productivity, entrepreneurship and marketing. I personally have learned a lot from these classes whether it's editing videos or finding ways to become the best version of myself and for me most importantly through different and creative mediums that I've found through classes on Skillshare. The class that resonated with me the most recently was the class Mindful Growth, Start Your Creative Journey by Mimi Cha. Skillshare is ad-free. There are new premium classes launched every week and there is now an entire catalogue available with subtitles in French, Spanish, Portuguese and German. To top this all off, as always, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for supporting my channel. Let's get back to making breakfast. So 
breakfast is looking like um yeah my eggs were underdone so i had to finish them off in the microwave i just was rushing the boiling process but yeah i have my hard boiled eggs with some chorizo sausage on like a whole wheat cracker toast or whatever um and then i have some pineapple i have fruit with everything i eat now and then i have pineapple juice and some water on the road but just in general i drink at least one water bottle every day um so yeah let me quickly eat and get dressed and get going because i'm supposed to be leaving in like the next 15 minutes or so um yeah okay so i've made it i'm gonna go and relax my hair candy and co um let me take off this i'm currently in a rental car um so yeah that's that but at least i have a car to drive in that's really good um also i dropped my phone in <laughs> like I don't know how to explain I was watching YouTube videos while I was like washing my face and then I pulled the cloth to wipe my face and my phone followed and then it just sat under running water because I was like whoa why is it going quiet and then I realized it was sitting under the tap the running water of the tap um so I'm five minutes early though for my appointment um, wow that was very disjointed um as you can see my hair is just shrinking as the day goes by but that's fine I'm gonna get it relaxed now Mm. yeah so i'm just gonna go in i didn't show you guys my outfit because honestly it's not even worth showing i'm just wearing a dress so that it makes the waxes easier later on um there's really nothing to it this is really nothing to it i'm wearing a jacket because like it's on and off raining and hot so yeah anyway let's get going what did i do with the car key oh, never mind it's on me okay <laughs> I'm back at the headquarters as I refer to them um, my hair is done I did walk out the car <laughs> it looks like I have like this like shaggy haircut like more key haircut but it's just how my hair is growing at the moment it's very weirdly and oddly layered not planned sorry I just got so he says but I'm in quite a bit of a pickle because because my phone fell and got the thing in water, I can't charge it and it's on like the minimum amount of battery life. I had to go and buy rice because I don't have rice here. Um, and at the same time, I need to like book my flights and all of that. Um, and I don't have Wi-Fi here. So I need to use my phone as my, as my hotspot. And I don't know at some point i need to put the phone in the rice and leave it there for like two hours which i don't know if that's possible considering i still have another appointment to go to it's just a little bit stressful but like hopefully it'll work out you know i made it to my waxing appointment obviously i'm not going to show that because we're getting a hollywood and underarm so yeah i'm just gonna quickly undress and hang this up okay yeah that's all there ready to go my hairline is so bad Ugh, i don't even want to talk about it I'm currently at Katanan just trying to see if I can find some things for like the weekend and I really liked you see that hat at the back there I really like the cream version of it oh, it's way down there but anyway um, I'm just looking around to see I really wanted to get myself some broken stocks especially like these black ones these ones um 
But I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'll think about it. Also, I need to get home. But we'll see. We'll see what I do. Oh my days. What a day. I am tired. Um, wax check. It looks cute, but like, you can still see like the thingy that I put on earlier and all of that. Um, I'm so tired. Why is this? Anyway, um, wow, okay, I'm gonna haul some of the things that I got for you. I'm gonna haul some of the things that I got. I'm gonna haul them for you guys. I didn't get them for you guys because I was gonna say got for you guys. Um, but yeah, I obviously went to my favorite shop, Mr. Price. Um, I didn't know this bag was five rand. Next time I'm going to Mr. Price, I'm bringing this bag along because it's literally five rand um anyway so just trying to get things for this weekend let me get a tripod so that i can put you guys down and do this properly do i speak bougie you guys like i know obviously like i have the model c accent and all but like is it an accent i don't know but like is it bougie oh okay don't mind my dirty dishes. Okay. Quicker than a snicker. Anyway, um, so I bought this sweat pants sweat suit. I don't know what, but you know the sweat material um, in brown. And I really like it. So I think this is going to be like my travel fit on Friday. I actually just realized I booked a nighttime flight, which just doesn't make sense, which means that I'm not going to like get to rest. But um, yeah, I booked a nighttime flight, but it's all right. So this is going to be my airport fit, my first airport fit. The second airport fit, um, I have an idea of what I want to wear, but I still need to finish washing my white air forces and um actually, actually it's probably gonna go with this as well and the pants that i want to wear with that outfit but it's like a very short fit also watch out for the next vlog so you can see all of this and then i bought these shorts and i really wanted them i really really wanted them and i bought the pants in large because i tried out a medium it fit me but it wasn't like baggy you know what i mean it was just tight I thought that was someone running, but it was someone on a scooter. I was like, why are they running so fast? So I bought these in large as well. So I want like a loose fit. And then hopefully when I lose weight, it's even looser. So yeah, I bought this kind of almost, no, not quite, but yeah. So this I'll probably just wear with like a white top. I didn't buy a top for it. And then um, I just bought socks because like my family just stole my socks. So I don't have any. I have like one pair, one and a half pairs of socks. So I just bought new socks. And then the coolest thing, um, I also went to like Glamour Hair Salon, but I didn't vlog there. I was looking for clips to um, to sew onto weft, a weave hair, a weft, that I can make like clip ins with this yaki hair that I found at home. So that it just, you know, matches my hair as well. And it's a bit longer because my clip ins, most of them I chopped because I wanted this like straight cut and whatever and now I just want them a little bit longer but um I bought the clip-ins but I just didn't buy a needle and thread and now I can't sew the clips for the clip-ins on so I'm probably just gonna have to use some of my old um clip-in extensions and the synthetic ones that I had bought like way back when but I asked them if they have this hairband and if you watch Euphoria you'll know what this is about but basically I got this at Discam and it was literally only 40 Rand. But the first episode of Euphoria, Maddie was wearing one of these headbands and I felt so much nostalgia because honestly when we we're growing up, the early 2000s, these are the these are the headbands that everyone wore. And I was like, I need that headband. I was like, I want it expeditiously. So when I was at Glamour Hair Salon, I asked them about them about it, and the lady was like, No, you're not the first one to ask about it. Like 
other people have been watching them too i'm like yeah because they were just on a tv show and i guess we're all like feeling nostalgic and we all just want these bands and like oh, and i remember when i was a kid they were cool and all but they weren't like that headband it was like it was like yeah it was part of the fashion but like you wanted like an alice band like the the material alice band that like is just one long material that's the one that you wanted it's not these ones but now after maddie wore this one on euphoria i was just like no my whole childhood has been reignited did i put it in the right way let's see okay it's not my my hairline but yeah oh my word oh it's got caught in my earring oh no oh no oh no okay my entire childhood like and then once I have like the clipping extensions, I feel like it will look so cool. I'll just have to work on like what I'm gonna do with my hairline. Probably just fit it in with some pencil because like she's hella thin right now. She's not looking cute. But yeah, I found the headband. If you're looking for it, you know where to get it. Should I should I just wear it for like the rest of the day? It's a bit tight. Did I put it in right? Anyway, I think it'll look really cool with the clip-ins and all of that. And yeah, I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna put in the clip-ins before I go get my nails done. Then I'm gonna be fully bad bitch loaded and everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, what am I gonna do now? I'm so bored. Oh, I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna wash my clip-ins because they are a little bit dirty. All over dirty. I'm gonna wash those. I actually bought so this two in one conditioner and shampoo. I don't think that makes sense to have shampoo and conditioner because they don't do the same thing, but like it's fine. It was on like it was discounted, it was on sale, so I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. Um yeah, and I'll probably just like watch something, I don't know, like vlogs. I've been enjoying a lot of vlogs. I found a whole bunch of different YouTubers so i've been watching a lot of those and then i'll make supper maybe i'll have like a glass of wine um in my olivia pope sized wine glasses maybe i'll watch scandal i don't know but um yeah that's all for this update <laughs> Oh my word, if you're an OG on my channel, like if you've been watching me since I was in varsity, you'd remember these glasses. I got them in third year and I thought I'd lost them, honestly. It turns out they were just in storage. Um, yeah, so I just found them and now I'm wearing them because everything is HD. And honestly, I want to believe that I'm not blind because I'm not, but everything looks so much clearer with them on. So it's so nice to like watch things on my laptop as well because they're also for that for me to like use especially when I'm using my laptop and stuff like that. So it's so nice like when I am watching things on my laptop. I don't know the lighting is so weird. When I'm watching things on my laptop to like yeah to put the glasses on and everything is just so clear. Even now like everything looks so clear. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the day. Um, yeah. What am I doing now? I've just made breakfast. I want to show you guys. I made oats for myself. I'm about to put it together. And today we have our last appointment at 12 o'clock to do nails. So yeah, it is still... I actually woke up at 6. I was hoping to wake up at 6. I mean to leave here at 7 a.m. And go get other things done that are like not related and stuff like that. 
but um it is now i think almost eight o'clock and obviously i'm still not ready i'm only about to eat now so yeah i might just only go for like the appointment like leave here at like our first 11 or 11 or so so that i'm on time for my appointment and all of that um anyway let me show you guys the oatmeal i have oats let me switch this on really a better much better so i have oats and then i have peaches or half a peach the other pe the other half i'm gonna eat maybe for lunch and i have red grapes and i have green seedless grapes i don't know if the reds are, red ones are seedless and then i chopped up some almonds so i'm just gonna like put all of this together and i'll show you guys the finished product This reminds me of when like I was working and I would want to eat like super healthy instead because I was eating KFC every day for lunch <laughs> back then and then I, I got to a point where I was like I want to eat healthy like you know so I just started eating oh I just started eating oats um and I want to cut down my sugar so I put like fruits in my oats usually i put berries but i don't know i guess berries aren't in season because my food lovers market that i kept going to doesn't have like strawberries and i'm not a big food person i'm very picky with my food so i don't eat all types of fruits i only eat like specific kinds of fruits so it makes it really difficult for me to find like the right fruits and um yeah but this reminds me of that where i just don't put sugar and i just put like a whole bunch of other stuff i know people put like chia seeds and all these other things um they have not been acquired by my palate yet maybe one day but for now i'm going to put on what i can like stand even peaches i only started eating peaches that are not like from the can or tinned and processed this year i absolutely could not stand any fruit like that is like a peach even an apple i still don't eat apples like a peach or any of like you know these types of fruits like stone fruits basically yeah i still don't eat mangoes i don't eat there's a lot of fruits that i just still don't eat okay now that it's sufficiently stuffed um that is my oatmeal bowl hopefully I don't taste too much of the oats because it doesn't have sugar, so it's weirdly tasting. Okay, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys when I'm ready because there's still a lot that's gonna have to happen before I get ready today. I'm still swollen. Don't know why when I wake up I get I get so swollen, but like yeah. I'll see you guys in a bit. Are you guys ready for this? Mm, I'm ready. Oh my word! Okay, wait. Don't don't do the not not blending thing. Don't don't do the not blending thing. Don't be doing that. I need to sneeze. Okay, this this is this is the look for the day. I'm in love. Oh my gosh! I think I'm gonna recreate this look on like the weekend when I'm out because I have a delivery on the way. And okay, funny story. I also have snacks right now. I also have snacks right now. Um, just my half a peach that was left over and some washed grapes. Um, but basically, oh my gosh, I <laughs> I ordered this package from Shein and I don't know how I feel. I'm very conflicted about the fact that I use Shein, but like the way it happened was I was just Google searching like pajamas or something, and then they showed up on Shein. It was like a set of three for 405 rand and i was like wait i caught an on for these like similar pajamas the pants alone are like 300 rand um what are you talking about so then i went onto the website and i fell down a rabbit hole i literally spent i think a straight five hours on Shein, like just looking at everything because i was so intrigued and i was like oh my gosh they sell lights they sell bathroom things they sell kitchenware there's everything there's clothes is this there's, there's, i was I was so intrigued and even after all of that i still didn't know they saw hair and a whole bunch of different things but basically i placed this order um i think like two weeks ago it actually wasn't that long and i watched tiktoks um 
because I wanted to see like how much import taxes people pay and things like that. Like I didn't want to just go in and be the experiment because I've ordered things overseas and paid some hefty taxes, aka more fee. Um, so yeah, what else have I ordered overseas and I paid taxes? There are quite a few things here. Um, yeah. Anyway. So, um, I made the order and then, yeah, I researched a little bit after I made the order, which doesn't make sense, but anyway, I was like, it's fine. I only paid 112 Rand. And the thing is, I didn't know where I was going to be. So I held off paying the import taxes because I was like, if I, usually when you pay the taxes, it takes only about three days after that for the hair, like for the hair, for the products to arrive at your doorstep. So I was like, okay, I'm going to hold off. And I paid it like really, I think I paid it like last week, Friday, um, and i wasn't even here so i didn't even know if it was gonna like deliver here or like i don't know it was just a lot but anyway it is arriving today and i called them after i paid the taxes and they said it would take two weeks and it's only been like four days so four business days not even like four full days yeah, like well how do i put that yeah anyway so the guy the delivery guy says it's about 10 minutes away um i'm just gonna bring the plastic plastic package in because there's a lot like there's hair there's clothes there's a lot i'm gonna do a little haul for you guys when i get back when my nails are done it's probably gonna be fun that way um when my nails are done i'm gonna do a haul for you guys and yeah i'm excited to see everything because like <laughs> also how cute does this look oh my gosh it took me a little while to get it right because as you can see here in the front like it's taking up a lot more hair and this wasn't like i don't know it was too flat so i had to put more extensions up here to take them out from the back and put them up here and all of that but i really love this look oh my word even with my thundering hairline <laughs> it still looks really good like wow ma'am who is she ah yeah okay um i know people are gonna ask the rest of the outfit looks like shit i'm not even gonna talk about it but this top i'll just go questions about it it's from mr price i bought it like four years ago well before 2019 i bought it a long time ago so yeah but it's still looking good i love it because it's like Ooh, okay let me just eat my snacks and wait for the delivery <laughs> Okay, the package has arrived. Um, wow. Kind of says. First of all, I don't think that everything I bought fit in here. And if it did, wow. Their package skills are a different kind of breed. Okay. Let's open it. Okay, everything did fit in. Whoa. Okay, so I ordered like a laundry basket thing. I was going to do this for when I got back, but I'm like, it's fine. I'm going to do it now. Wow. The when I got back. Okay, it smells like plastic. It smells like... Yeah, like plastic. I don't know how to explain that. Not like normal plastic, but like... Pro all the plastic is processed. Okay, doesn't matter. But um, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is cute, which is a lot tinier than I expected, but I started to realize that it may be tiny. Um, but I just wanted something that's going to stand up and like, yeah, that's how big it is. I just wanted something that's going to stand up and be in the bathroom because the current one that I have is so open because it's like a, a basket it just ends flat. So it's like open. Whereas this one, I feel like if I put clothes in and it's put under the sink, no one will be able to see like everything whereas that one even if it's under something you can still see into it um the next thing is an incense stick holder i actually forgot to bring my incense sticks here so i'm gonna have to buy some let's pierce that through this is so pretty and it's gold it matches like the things that i have so yeah i just put the incense stick in here and it's gonna burn that way yeah, that one was really cheap. I think maybe that may have been like 18 rounds. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, I'll finish with the clothes. Because you have the clothes in like packs like this. Um, 
That was a thumbnail moment. Okay. I ordered so many random things. So many random things. Um, I got this ice block maker. So it makes these... <laughs> Okay, so it makes these round ice blocks. Um, I don't know why, but it, it, it just appealed to me. Okay, let's just fit this back in there. Basically, just fill it up and then close it off, and then you make like I don't know, it just seems like it's gonna be cool. Like in like a whiskey glass. Um, I don't even drink Hennessy anymore, so I don't know, but like I think it is like will look cool. I don't know, in a cocktail, don't drink cocktails either, but like that's fine. Oh, I got this cute water bottle for like my everyday use. So it's a portable cup. And I just like it because it's like clear. And I know you can get these at the surprise, but like sometimes they have like a random pink thing on the side or, you know, just something random goes on. And y'all know I love my surprise, but girl do be going a little random sometimes. There's so much. <laughs> okay, and I'm also so excited. Then I bought this um, mirror phone case. This one I know is 18 Rand for sure. But it, that's like the discounted price. The original price I think was like 25 Rand. And it looks so pretty. Okay. I think there's like, yeah, there's a plastic on it. That's why it looks scratched. But like, yeah, and then for my phone, phone case. That's cute. The clothes, um, I don't know, I don't think I'll do a try on haul, yeah, because like even the surprise stuff I didn't try on. Another dress that I bought, and I love this one because it matches this other pair of shoes, these other Steve Madden's that I bought. Oh my gosh, my favorite thing, I bought this bucket hat. I don't remember how much this was, but I've been wanting a bucket hat for so long. Last year I went to this um, Nike bucket hat, that purple one, like tie-dye purple blue one. And it was 500 Rand for the bucket hat alone, and then it was like another 400 Rand to ship it from the Nike website. And I was like, there's absolutely no way I'm paying 900 Rand for my first bucket hat when I didn't even know bucket hats looked good on me. So I was like, okay, I saw this and I was like, let me just try it out. And also my sister's been saying, I've been wanting bucket hats, but I don't actually commit to buying them. So this is my first one. I don't want to try it out because like, white but okay i'll try, i'll put it on properly because of my makeup and it's white and all of that but i'll put it on properly probably on the trip because i really like it i think it's so cute it's so furry Ooh, okay i'm excited about this but it is it does look like a large uh, bucket hats come in large sizes so but it should look cute with like my hair with the hair extensions all that okay the next thing that i got is like cutlery okay so this is really unnecessary and i do have my own chopsticks that i have with me here but i decided to buy gold chopsticks but it will make sense with my next purchase that i'll show you guys so i bought gold chopsticks because i do be eating a lot a lot of sashimi i'm not gonna say i eat sushi because i really don't but i do eat a lot of sashimi so i really enjoy that and like other asian food like tempura food and all of that so i use chopsticks quite a bit when i order out and things like that so yeah i ordered them but also i ordered them because they were gold and because they're gold it means that they match my new cutlery so I don't know how good <laughs> the crockery is, um, or cutlery is, sorry. Um, but I said, let me just give it a try. And I went for gold. As you guys can see, I have, I have a lot of gold. But I already have things that are gold. And I felt like it would just be a really nice look and feel. You know, gold. Just go for gold. Because I've never properly bought silverware and i just have mix and match things so now i have like a proper set and i see these are really in fashion these are like really long knives and forks and things at first i thought they were weird but now i'm like they're cute i'm used to them so yeah this is what they look like i really like them they look really good i was a bit worried that like in person they won't look expensive 
which is like the goal <laughs> but they look amazing oh i can see myself very beautifully they look really good and they say they stainless steel so the gold shouldn't come off after a couple washes but we'll see we'll see how that goes we'll see what happens there you know but yeah i'm happy with these purchases let me get into the clothes because i need to start i need to get going for my appointment like it's a half an hour it's a half an hour drive so clothing wise I got this dress. I like that they put them in these like little individual bags. And they, I'm sure you can reuse them. So I got this dress and oh my gosh, it's oh my gosh, it's oh it's thin. Oh she's oh ooh ooh oh my gosh she's so see-through. Ooh it's like Okay, wait, it doesn't look see-through, but I see that it's see-through. And if I wore it, what would I wear underneath it? But it really matches these pink shoes that I have. And I thought I'd wear it on the trip since, like, my things got here early. But maybe not. Um, it's still a pretty dress. I just have to figure out what to wear underneath it. Also, I think I got this for 80, 70, somewhere there, maybe 68 didn't cost a lot um so yeah and then the next dress i got i'm i'm assuming it's also going to be thin but i really love it uh, it is it is this mesh material did i not read was i blind but like the on the models it doesn't look like mesh but i like this you see like this i i can wear so i have black shapewear to wear underneath this and i love it i think this pattern yeah why did my voice break i think this pattern is gorgeous so this i think i can definitely take with me this weekend uh pack that in all right and then oh these are the pajamas i'm like what is this like fluffy furry stuff okay so this is a two-piece set i ended up only buying one set just to try it out and see how i like it but these are the pajamas you know i haven't actually smelled the clothes they just they just smell like this plastic um yeah <laughs> and this is oh my gosh this is so cute and furry i actually thought i had bought these furry slippers to match all of this and then i realized after i paid that i i don't know what happened to them i think the size just wasn't available so by the time i checked out i didn't realize that they were no longer um, available in my cart so they're supposed to match these but that's okay i like these um yeah this these look like they'll fit me i bought everything size small by the way just so you guys know um i don't know why because i feel like now i do wear certain things in medium but i was just like i trust myself i'll fit in the small and if i don't fit in i'll make sure i fit in and then my favorite favorite one is this it's a two-piece set um what can i it's like the set that laurie harvey wore to art basil in december miami so it's basically a set like that so it's like pants and they're like so linen and flowy and the shirt and i feel like this is like a shirt that you like wear open and it's oversized and baggy so you can even wear it with shorts and a whole bunch of things there's so many things that i know i'm going to start it with but i know for sure this is coming with me for the trip because i think this is like a very good look for like what we're gonna be doing on the trip i feel like it, and it's also nice and light i just need a hat which i was supposed to go and buy today but i don't know if i'm gonna have time since i switched my flight up to be for tonight but anyway i've been talking for 11 minutes now um let's get going to my nail appointment and just get on fleek i just want to be able to do this and then hear the I'm back home. Oh my gosh, my nails. They look so beautiful. I didn't vlog because there was just so much. Like, one, I was exhausted because there was just so much that I was supposed to get done before and I didn't. I tried to get some of it done, but it just wasn't working and all that. And even though I had a 12 o'clock appointment, we only saw my nails. Like, we did my nails in portions, you know, when like one person does your, <laughs> your tips and then like, the next shapes and then and then eventually we got to these nails but honestly it was worth the wait if i hadn't waited i would have li literally in an hour and a half it would have all been done or even like two hours at most but these nails um look amazing they were done by all my teen nails all my teen nails on instagram um but i honestly just googled them because 
don't have instagram um I don't know maybe by the time this vlog goes up i will have instagram again i don't know but like for now i don't have instagram so i just googled because i remembered the name because i like locked it in last year i was like when i am in Joburg, i need to get my nails done there so yeah so these are the oh they look so pretty and like they look so like classic like they really they remind me of like the nails that my mom would do back in the day and then also with like the hairstyle and then like Okay, my makeup is looking a bit more 70s with the brown lip, 70s, 90s, with the early 2000s with brown lip and all of that. Like, it was really serving. This was a look. Honestly, this was, a, this is a look. I mean, it's a bit off now, but also I realized, I don't know if I just didn't open it or if I'm actually missing a top. Oh, I just didn't open it. My bad. I was about to, I was about to come for Sheen, Sheen, Sheen's, but because I'm like, like while i was waiting for my nails to get done i'm just like whoa i'm i'm missing like an emerald green top and then i look at my order and i'm like yeah i didn't see that earlier but let me just try and open it for you guys right now i'm not cleaning guys down probably oh my gosh okay here she is wait let me try and see if i can show y'all okay so it's a how do i put it it's like it crosses over so it does this it's like off the shoulder top i'm definitely wearing it this weekend i don't know how i don't know for what but i'm wearing it this weekend yeah i'm wearing it i don't know yeah i just need to figure out which pants i would um pair it with but it's definitely coming with me for the weekend vacation little thing thing yeah, I'm just glad it is here because I really liked the look of this top. So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog because I need to start the next vlog. Um, and literally, I have like two hours to get ready to wash my face because I can't fly with a face full of makeup. Um, I need to actually wash those parts that I made stuff with yesterday. Um, what else? Oh, I need to shower shave a little bit and finish packing <coughs> sorry but um yeah and then change fits so i'm gonna start the new vlog um when i've done all of that on my way to the airport i suppose or just before i leave and all of that but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i think it's quite a lengthy one because there was a lot of different elements because it's supposed to be a maintenance vlog but then i added in the hauls um because i just was like buying stuff and i was like there's no point in me waiting for another vlog later on to show you what i bought when it's happening like in this moment you know what i mean so yeah um if you guys enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment down below your favorite part of the vlog if you like the nails um the hair also is it giving um i know right now it's looking a bit bleep, 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 but you know it's the humidity the rain everything that's going on outside um and also the clothes the different things that i bought she and surprise honestly spent for all the things that i bought and showed you guys in this vlog i spent less than 1.5 thousand rand so there's that morally though hmm. um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i love you all and i will see you in the next one bye Thank you.